religion-wise, I realize that all of the great religions are teaching the same things. They're teaching about love. They're teaching about compassion. They're teaching about nonviolence. They're teaching about giving. They're teaching about mindfulness. They're teaching about awareness. So for me, there is really one underlying principle in all the religions, and that's love. I try to remind myself of that. When one looks at reincarnation, and I've experienced many of my own past lives, I find that we change from life to life. We change bodies. So we change race, we change sex, we change religions. We've all been many religions. We've been Hindu and Buddhist and Jewish and Christian and Islamic. We've been everything. We have to learn from all sides. And so I've found lifetimes where I've been Buddhist, lifetimes Hindu, lifetimes Catholic, lifetimes Jewish. It doesn't matter. It's really about love and compassion. I agree with the Dalai Lama in that respect of staying within your own religion because that's the most comfortable for you. And they all lead to love. They all lead to a higher level. The concept of reincarnation, which I firmly believe now, it's easier for me because I've done this work with thousands of patients over the past several decades, so I see it every day, is that you have more than one chance to get it right. It's not just one chance and then what happens. But by living life after life, you learn these lessons. It may take you many lifetimes to learn about nonviolence, many lifetimes to learn about love and compassion, many lifetimes to learn about patience. And this is one of the principles of reincarnation. It is that you keep coming back until you get it right. You don't have to master everything in one life. And it really makes sense if you think about it. 